This is a tutorial to show you how to use the spiral patterns from the spiral collection set from graphicextras.com. Find the spiral collection set at this location. It's for Photoshop and C5, C6, etc. Right, you can use patterns in a number of ways in Photoshop and one of the ones I'm going to quickly show now is the uh, new fill layer and I'm just going to select selection so I'm just going to there's one thing you can do with the uh, patterns on the, on the layer is actually set up a selection so it only actually creates the uh, the layer in this selection so it, it doesn't sort of extend out obviously get rid of the uh, the address so now layer new fill layer pattern comes up with various options set for click OK and it comes up with a dialog pattern fill now there's a whole selection of different spiral uh, patterns there's also spiral shapes as well as brushes and many others and fonts but I'm just going to quickly run through the various spirals spirals just click on those just go through them right. so I'm just going to say decide on one that, that one will be there and at this point you can actually set the scale for the pattern I'm just going to set it to 50 so it reduces it down a bit also, while it's actually uh, this dialogue's available, you can actually move the pattern, the actual origin of the pattern, so you can move it around if you wish. Of course, set it to 10 if you wish. Actually, it becomes very faint at that point, but uh, at 50, set it back to 100, go through the other patterns. Now, there's two sets of patterns in this uh, collection set. So I'm just going to go and select the other one and you can select patterns via the uh, right side menu here. There's just a little icon there and just select load patterns or replace patterns. I generally prefer replace. Don't want to load too many patterns in any one time. Then click load. Which is weird since it's I've actually said replace patterns and it comes up with a little button that says load. But uh, anyway, it's nothing to do with me. Right. So you can again select a range of different patterns. Now with these patterns, as you go there, click OK. So you can just finish at that point. You can of course just then go to layer, flatten image, and then you just got the, the pattern. Now if you want to actually just use the standard fill, the one thing with the standard fill is there's no particular way of scaling it. The only way to do it would be to create the uh, pattern again and then redefine the pattern, then and resize that and then use the uh, the fill command so uh, that's one way of doing that with the latest release in Photoshop CS6 and I'm not showing CS6 here it's actually got a, a deco script which is one of the options in the patterns so uh, you can select a script to run and you can in that change the size angle and tons of other things as well as how it's applied so uh, that's quite a useful new feature uh, in uh, Photoshop so I'm just going to go and quickly go to selections again. I'll just quickly show the standard fill here. Fill and it's got pattern. Let's say in the new version it comes up with another option for scripts. But in this one does, of course doesn't. So I'm just going to select one of the designs. And you can just fill that, obviously that region selection with a pattern. Now another option, way of using patterns, the spiral patterns, is via the... And I'm just going to quickly create a shape basic shape, say a circle, but it could of course be a custom shape. Just apply that. And I'm going to do a shape layer. So basically the shape layer is, is this option here. Along the control bar you select the shape layer option. It's a vector shape so you can resize it. And you can go to the layer, layer style. Now it's actually got a pattern overlay at the moment which is one of the Greek designs. So go there. And of course, the pattern there actually has got a remnant of the original pattern, so uh, that to, obviously, if you don't change anything, it will remain. So I'm just going to quickly select the new, the new pattern. Again, you can do use a scale, so you can scale it down. Also, at this moment, it's got a bevel, so I'm just going to go over to the bevel and a texture. Now, the texture is also using a, a Greek ornament uh, design, but you can obviously just go and select one of these ones, one of the uh, spiral designs and you can scale that down so 
you can just see that change the depth as well as the scale on those so i'm just going to get rid of that actually in the moment just to so click ok so basically you've got a now the other place that can be used is i'm just going to quickly show you that one and that's the pattern stamp tool now just stop and think for a second it's under the clone tool this is one thing i've always really wished in photoshop it would be wonderful if you could actually extend the toolbox to be like four columns etc so you could actually have all the tools that you want to use accessible i've never liked the uh, the sub tool approach um, i really would love to see a, a slightly different way where you could actually set up the tools that you want to use most of the time most of these i don't really ever use so well, i do but not all the time so it's nice to just sort of remove them when you don't really need them and just say like have the pattern one accessible straight away all the time uh, it's not very easy to uh, do that in Photoshop. Whereas other applications have actually got features like uh, custom palettes in PaintShop Pro, and I can probably think of a few others that have got uh, ways of uh, creating a sort of your own palette, which is much much better. I think. Right now, I've got a pattern stamp. Again, you can set the pattern there, and then obviously I'm going to create a slightly bigger brush so it can actually see the brush stroke, and it will just it's sort of localized pattern so you can actually obviously now go to another one. again it's all seamless so you can just keep spray it also is an impressionist option so it will actually apply the colors from the pattern randomly selecting color from the uh, sometimes of course with a slightly blurry brush it's not so effective but uh, obviously maybe a, another brush you can uh, see the color scheme coming through that's from that pattern of course if I select a different pattern you will see the greens and uh, the colors being sourced from that uh, pattern design anyway that's the basic uh, use for the spiral patterns as I said there's many other spiral designs actually in the uh, spirals collection set but uh, that's essential and you can also create the uh, spiral patterns using the custom shapes or brushes in the set so you can just apply those very easily to create new spiral patterns and seamless tiles.